Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your LG V10. Now, full disclaimer, this is an international version, so it might be a little bit different when you're at your carrier version, but the premise should be the same. First, we're going to hit Next after we choose our language. This does not have a SIM card in it, but if it would, you would just put that in there. And so we're going to use Wi-Fi for the connection, and then it's going to look at the local Wi-Fi connection here. When we tap our Wi-Fi, we're going to enter in our password. And so once we have completed this step, it will now be connected. And then we're going to move on to the next step, and it's just going to connect, check the connection and check for any software updates. A big important feature here, when you set up your phone, you do want to be able to have it in a strong internet connection. Secondly, if you have your old smartphone and it's an Android, you have to turn on NFC and you'll be able to just to tap the phones and then it'll transfer over everything from your Google accounts to everything you can need uh, with it. You just have to verify your old Gmail account and then everything transfers over. So this is a really great practice uh, to use when transferring over phones. However, I'll show you the regular way to set it up without using this. But again, if you had it, you just tap them back to back and it goes forward. We're gonna skip this instead and go to the next section which is entering in our Gmail password. Now you do need a Gmail password in order to use this phone if you ever want to buy apps or just use a lot of the features of the phone. So if you don't have one, just create one. But if you do have one, just enter it in, which is what we're doing now. And then it's gonna ask you, of course, for your password, which I'm now entering. And once you've gone through this step, the next step generally with LG is to ask you if you want to pull your data from another device. What this is, is it can pull all of your apps from your previous phones. Now I typically don't want to do this right now when setting up a new phone because it'll take much longer. So I'm just going to set, put set up new device and then go next. And then from here, it'll ask you if you want to set up a lock screen now. We'll skip that for now, but it's always obviously good to protect your phone. And then you do want to allow Google services to run as that's the only way things like Google Maps will work. And then you have to agree to all the software stuff. Uh, let's not agree to that one, uh, but just so simple and easy. And more and more stuff. You can install McAfee. I would say that's not needed. Why? Because if you never download a app from the, if you only download apps from the Google Play Store, you'll never get a virus. But if you download things like Frostwire and all that kind of stuff on your phone, then you might get a virus. So depending on your needs, you do that. Uh, if you download from the Google Play Store, you'll never get a virus. So I don't need this. And there we have it. The device is now fully set up and we can see my name up top here for the second screen and the phone's now ready. All right, guys, make sure to check out all the other videos, including all the hidden features and how to set up the camera and everything else you might need on this phone. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.